My strength is our Jesus. You're my deliverer, yes, you are. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you for joining us as we sit and wait on God's response to the sin of the United States of America, I specifically remember when Jesus asked his disciples, could ye not watch with me for one hour? Jesus knew what his disciples had to endure. He knew what was coming and he needed for them to watch and pray in order to be able to endure what he knew would be completely devastating for them. Now Jesus is asking us, could ye not watch with me for one hour? Saints, just as Jesus needed his disciples to watch and pray, he needs his church, his people, to do the same. Throughout God's word, he continues to make reference to this. Take a look at 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Luke 21, 36. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. These scriptures should let you know the importance of watching and praying. What is coming will be so devastating until the only way we will be able to endure it is to watch and pray. Be ready because judgment is on the way. Right now, I can't help but be reminded of a vision God blessed me to hear shared by an eight-year-old girl, which helps us to understand how easily our country was able to end up the way it is now. This vision God gave her was so vivid. She recalled how in one part of her vision, Jesus showed her what hell will look like. He showed her how Satan's world operated. She shared how Satan would order his demons to go from one end of the earth to the other to provoke all kinds of evil things. Addiction, sexual perversions, fornication, murder, adultery, divorces, and the list goes on. These demons would report back to Satan everything they did while on earth. And Satan would laugh about all the sin and destruction. He laughed about how the people of the earth were going to be led straight to him in the end and how they didn't realize it until it was too late. Jesus allowed this little girl to see how many souls would be dropping into hell due to the great deception of Satan and his demons. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Revelations 20, 15. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. There are so many people being deceived right now. Now I want you to take a moment and think about that vision of this eight-year-old girl and think about where our country is right now. America is in trouble. What do you do when your nation has turned its back on God? Well, According to Isaiah 55, 6, we are to seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let's take our nation's saints to God in prayer. 
Holy Father, we praise you for who you are. We adore you for you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for every breath you allow us to take to get it right with you before it's too late. For you are good, Father. Make this prayer holy and acceptable in your sight. Father, we approach your throne in great need and in an extreme emergency. Father, so many of us want to do right by you, but as we are reminded by Paul when he says that nothing good dwells in my flesh, for the good that I want, I do not do, but I practice the very evil that I do not want. Right now, Father, we confess our sins against you. We confess the sins of our forefathers and we repent of our sins against you. Father, we fully surrender our lives to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that this prayer breaks through the spiritual realms. We ask that an opening in the spiritual realm is made for this prayer to receive safe passage to you. We ask for your forgiveness, for living in our fleshly desires. Father, for not walking in the spirit, but walking in the flesh. For not consulting you before decisions are made that will affect our lives. For not giving our time and money to further your kingdom. For not spreading your word as questions to help save those that are lost. For so many souls are on the way to hell. Forgive us for making our faith more about us and less about you. More about our comfort zone and preferences than about you. And forgive us, Father, for all the times we furthered Satan's kingdom with our sins. My God, with our sins, we have welcomed these demons into our country, into our White House, our U.S. Capitol, the highest court in our land, our school systems, our churches, and our homes. If we are honest, we can admit that we have not stood for you, Father, my God, but have fallen for anything. And in doing so, America is in trouble. Please forgive us, Father. Father, right now, we seek your face, for we know that we must turn toward you in order to turn away from our sins. Father, right now, we pray for the United States of America, for she has become a cesspool for demons. Deception is wreaking havoc on our country and this world. Satan has such a stronghold on this country until it seems like she is unable to break free of the sin that binds her. Allow those that have eyes to see that only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Our Lord and darling Savior Jesus, Father, please allow those that have ears to hear your voice and know that your words are coming to pass right now. Father, allow those that have ears to hear the urgency. We are on a pathway straight to hell and we acknowledge that you are the only one who can save us. Father, we cry out to you right now, for we need you like never before in this country. Father, Satan and his demons right now are celebrating because the United States of America has turned her back on you. Somehow, we have allowed Satan to persuade us to believe that you have changed. Now, the right way is the wrong way, and the wrong way is the right way, my God. But you have warned us already in your word. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, for your word says that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, somehow we have allowed Satan to persuade us to believe that the LBGT community is so powerful until instead of us trusting in you, Father, the one true living God, we have given up on you and given in to them, my God. Father, we have
have allowed Satan to persuade us to believe. It is okay to allow the constant bombardment of fornication, adultery, perversion, violence, and profanity into our homes through television and other media outlets. Father, we are allowing Satan to persuade us to believe it's okay to get our little girls used to seeing male body parts in school systems by sharing restrooms and locker rooms. My God, Father, we have allowed Satan to persuade us to look the other way as the United States of America continues to murder over 50 million unborn babies. Babies you knew, Father, before they even entered the womb. The pain you must feel. Father, we have allowed Satan to persuade us to believe that it's okay for the United States of America to no longer be represented by you, the one true living God. What are we doing? What have we done? Oh, but wait a minute, God. Your word says that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. So right now, Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, specifically asking you to let mercy and grace prevail over us. Pour out a spirit of repentance upon this country. Father, pour out a spirit of true unity amongst your Christians. Father, your word teaches us to call things that be not as though they were. So right now, Father, I declare and decree that the atmosphere in the United States of America is filled with the glory of God. I declare that this atmosphere is filled with angels and not demons. This atmosphere is filled with the prayers of the saints and not the prayers of the unrighteous. This atmosphere, Father, is saturated with the prayers of the holy. This atmosphere is set up for blessings and not curses. This atmosphere is set up for a miraculous event and not a cataclysmic event. Glory to your name, Father. Right now, we put on the full armor of God for spiritual warfare. In the mighty name of Jesus, we disconnect the cords that are binding us in spiritual strongholds, witchcraft, addictions, seductions, traditions, and misfortunes. Father, we speak victory over satanic illusions, demonic possessions, spiritual strongholds, addictions, seductions, oppressions, depressions, and misfortunes. We speak victory over spiritual wickedness and high places. We speak the victory over satanic spirits wreaking havoc over this country, the United States of America. We speak victory in the name of Jesus over the spirit of sexual perversion, lust, homosexuality, bisexuality, bestiality, adultery, pornography, prostitution. This environment is no longer conducive for the gathering of demonic spirits wreaking havoc in our school systems, our government, our families. These demonic spirits are no longer successfully attached to our lives, school systems, our families, our marriages, our children. I declare and decree right now in the mighty name of Jesus that churches in the United States and abroad will have a spirit of boldness. Your people will grasp the power of true unity around one common holy purpose of the kingdom of God. We will rise like never before in your name with a spirit of boldness, not a spirit of fear at a time such as this. We will walk with boldness, speak with boldness, move with boldness, minister with boldness, go into spiritual warfare with boldness. We shall not be broken, intimidated, suppressed, distressed, unproductive, indecisive, undetermined. I declare right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we shall not 
bow down to the rulers of darkness against spiritual wickedness in high places, principalities, unclean spirits, lying spirits, evil spirits of deception, spirits of infirmities, suppressions, spirits of seduction, spirits of divination. We shall not bow down. We are prayer warriors going into battle equipped with your armor. We will speak your words no matter what the present circumstance is because you are the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You are the one true living God, the way maker, the peacekeeper, savior, alpha and omega, the beginning and ending of every situation. Nothing in this region moves without your permission. Nothing can speak without your permission. You have all power, Father. You have complete control. Right now, we speak over the sins of the United States of America, for she is so saturated with so much sin, Father. So we call on the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over the sins of this country. We plead the blood of Jesus over greed, fornication, adultery, stealing, homosexuality, lust, murder, envy, fear, fighting, bitterness, unforgiveness, pride, racism, uncompassion, hatred. Father, you know the list. I thank you, Father, for those that fall under the sound of my voice, for their lives will never be the same. Have your way in their lives, Father. Remove any and all doubt of your presence right now. For your son, Jesus, cannot be denied in their life. Your Holy Ghost cannot be contained in their life. And your will, Father, cannot be suppressed in their life. Move, move, move your spirit right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, over the highest mountain in the United States of America, through the lowest valley, across the widest sea, along the east coast, the west coast, and the gulf coast, around the biggest cities, LA, Chicago, New York, Atlanta, Miami, Dallas, San Francisco, Father, move, move, move your spirit through every city, through every town, through every county in the United States of America. Move your spirit beside the still waters of the lakes, the rushing waters of the rivers. Allow your spirit to flow through the boldness of the White House, the disputes in the U.S. Capitol the dishonorable rulings of the Supreme Court. Move your spirit, Father, amongst the school systems, inside the churches, and into every household across the United States of America. Move your spirit, Father, despite of what we deserve. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Thy is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever.